Capacity is, to me, arguably, the most important of the seats. Others might disagree, but I would say if you can't afford the debt, then do the other C's really matter? So in the uh, housing meltdown in the United States of uh, 2008, uh, one of the issues was people were getting mortgages that they could not afford. I'm gonna teach you a little bit of uh, terminology with regards to capacity, but you would never use it with the client. So with the client, you would always talk about affordability. Can the client afford the debt? In the bank, it's measured by two different ratios, the GDS and TDS, sometimes called the GDSR and TDSR. Same thing, GDS stands for gross debt service, TDS for total debt service, R for ratio. So again, we might use the R, we might not. Every single major institution uses some variation on the GDS and TDS ratio. There can be a few simple differences, but they all use the ratios in very similar ways. So we are gonna use a maximum GDS of 32% and a maximum TDS of 42%. What that means is 32% or roughly a third of your income can go towards your house and roughly 40% of your income can go to all your debts, including your house. You might think that's quite low, but that's 32 or 40% of your gross income. So if 40% of your payroll you never see, it goes to taxes, EI, CPP, and other deductions, and 40% goes to your debts, that means that you have 20% to live on. Everything from putting gas in the car, paying for insurance, paying for cable, your phone, paying for groceries. So in that sense, 40% is probably pretty reasonable. For GDS, sometimes we see 35%, sometimes there is no GDS limit. For TDS, sometimes we see 42 or 44%. CMHC, which we'll cover more about much later on, um, if it's a CMHC insured mortgage, they just recently lowered the limit from 44 to 42%. But again, we'll, for simplicity, we will always use 40%. Be aware that there are some differences there. So GDS, what can go towards your house? So more specifically, what are we going to include? So for this class, you're always gonna calculate it. Normally you would only calculate it on a mortgage or a secured line of credit application. But for this class, you're gonna calculate it every time just for good practice. So what does it include? Your rent or your mortgage, your heat, may or may not include power depending upon the institution that you're working for. It's gonna include half of your condo fees and property taxes. So that's pretty standard. And again, the only difference is whether or not you include power. It does not include, some places don't include power, but it definitely does not include other utilities, maintenance, lawn care, uh, creditor insurance on the mortgage, um, other types of insurance. So creditor insurance is an interesting one because that we'll talk more about that later on, but that is part of your mortgage payment, but we don't include that when calculating GDS. TDS, we start with the GDS number, but most common mistake we is to include the GDS percentage instead of the dollar value. So you're gonna include all of the dollars that you added up for GDS, and then you're gonna to add to that all loans or lease payments. If anything doesn't have a set payment, but it is a debt, you're gonna take 3% of the limit. Some places take the balance, some places use one, two and a half or 5%. For consistency, we're gonna use 3% and always the limit. So if it's a credit card or a credit line, those are the most popular, but if it's don't pay for five full years or don't pay till 2025, something you bought at a furniture store such as Leon's The Brick, we're gonna do that as well. And an interest only payment, which we'll cover later on, uh, if it's an interest only payment, on a, if it's a secured line of credit, we're gonna take a, um, an interest only payment. Some places will take 1%, some places will calculate it as if it was a mortgage, but we're always going to use 1%. What does it not cover? And then we'll go on to doing an example. So it does not include income taxes, as I mentioned, other payroll deductions, does not include in insurance or credit or insurance, other expenses. So think of it, is it a debt? Is it a debt? The only items that we would include no, that are not debts would be the items that are in GDSR, heat and property taxes.